Steven Dow o also known Gabriel Jesus. Gabriel Jesus is an Arsenal player, signed from Man City on a £45 million side non-fee on a five-year deal. <sighs> I'm going to be honest, I'm buzzing about this one. It feels like a marquee signing, I know we've been linked to other players, but this one feels like the one, especially for me. I wanted a strike from the beginning of the window and he has arrived. Now listen, there's, little, there's a lot of things I like about this signing, the fact that, you know, Gabriel Jesus is he's still young, got a, lot to, got, to play for, got a lot to play for, 25 years old. Um, this thing that goes unnoticed for me in his play, is his ability, his technical ability to be able to get, get out of tight spaces, his feet. If not, if not, what I'm really going to say is his flair. Now I know many will say it's embedded in the culture of Brazilian footballers that they have a lot of flair, but I think it goes unnoticed with Gabriel Jesus and it's, that's the sort of players I like to watch. I like to see it with Martinelli and now we have Gabriel Jesus as well. So when they turn to on the pitch, expect a lot of good footwork, a lot of feet. Also, let's look at some of his numbers from last season, eight goals and eight assists. You know, he, he's a player that can bring in other players to his game, um, provide the assists, also score goals. And Arteta is sticking with the trend here. He likes players that can play across the front three. He can do that. He predominantly does lean more to the right side. That's obvious because he's right footed. A lot of strikers want to get on their right side and let off shots. So he'll likely drift to that side. But again, versatility. We know that's what we like here at Arsenal and that's what, you know, Arteta is building a team like that. And I'm happy to see that. And let's just have a word on Mikel Arteta and Edu. They were a big part of this signing. Um, Romano said it, they got the deal over the line if it, was, if it wasn't for those two. We know Edu loves the Brazilian talent and we know Mikel Arteta's, you know, can persuade a player to buy into the project. So I've got to give him credit. He's, you know, Gabriel Jesus had interest from other clubs. Um, Arsenal haven't had Champions League football for a while now and we still got this deal over the line. He's the third highest goal scorer in Man City with 95 goals. Um, that's an achievement in itself. He scored 13 goals in the Centurion year. He's won four Premier Leagues at Man City and now he is an Arsenal player. I'm buzzing. There's only one thing I must question though. There's three Gabriels now at Arsenal Football Club. Three Gabbies. And when you're a player, you reference players by their first name. So when they say Gabby's ball, what happens? So they just... You know that meme, you know how it goes. I'll, I'll be interested to see how they work that one out. Are they going to shorten their last names for nicknames like is Martinelli going to be called Marty, Magalhães is going to be called Maga, you know, Jesus called Jesus. It'll be interesting to see how they, they work that one out. But lastly, let's, let me end on this. Two strikers now here at Arsenal. We've got Eddie and Ketia, we've got Gabriel Jesus. Hopefully, the phones are ringing all season. So for me and everyone at AFTV, welcome Gabriel Jesus. Shop for AFTV merch at shop.aftv.co.uk. Subscribe to us on YouTube. Follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, Snapchat, and Twitch. We've got content for every platform, so check it out.